Hello YouTube, this is The Fishing Hobby. Uh, today I was going to go over the rebuild of a Shakespeare Alpha. It's a 2100B series. Um, and the size of this reel is the 035. Um, this one has a line capacity in six pounds of 240 yards, eight pounds, 160 yards and 10 pound test is 145 yards. Um, it's a all aluminum bodied um, spinning reel. Uh, there's a few plastic parts on it. Um, there's only one of those that can cause problems as far as I found. Um, and I'm gonna go over some of the things I like about the reel, some of the things I don't like. What I like most about this reel is the aluminum construction. The body, the side plate, the rotor, and the spool are all aluminum. The drag on this reel is smooth. Uh, it's got a unique, to me, I've never seen this, the, the, the drag washer stack on the fiber washers, it's black on one side and red on the other. I'm not sure what type of construction that is, but the drag itself is very smooth. Um, the balance and feel of the reel is good it's it's weighty it's not as light as the newer reels with the graphite bodies uh, so it does have some weight to it i tend to use longer rods and fiberglass when i'm fishing light or ultralight uh, i just like the way they feel this on a seven foot rod this reel balances out quite nicely for me personally there's pretty good balance in the rotor while you're reeling in there's not a lot of wobble to it um, the reel itself is very smooth uh, considering that it's a one bearing reel the only bearing in it is on the pinion gear and it's an unusual bearing it's got a the outer race is nylon on it uh, I haven't run across one of those before in a reel but I certainly haven't seen them all I like the gearing on it it's got a high speed gear ratio it's a 5.2 to 1. The handle itself is comfortable to use. It's got a T-grip on it. Uh, the T-grip actually has a small hole in the end of it where you can add oil. So that's convenient uh, because the plastic grips on most reel handles tend to get loud uh, as the lubrication runs out on them. This one, you can, it's real easy to add more oil down the shaft and take up some of the slack in it. It cuts out the noise and, uh, of the plastic rubbing on the metal. Uh, so that's a nice feature. The anti-reverse is the clicker type. Uh, a lot of these older reels were, most of them were actually. Um, when you turn the, the anti-reverse on, there's an audible clicking sound. Let me see if I can play that for you here. And, you know, some people actually like that. I personally like silent anti-reverse, but I do like the mechanical anti-reverse as opposed to a one-way bearing um, that can be turned off or on. Personally, uh, I've seen oil get on the shafts of those and then it'll slip. So if you want a positive lockup on your anti-reverse, a clicker, you know it's working, you know it's engaged. There's nothing wrong with that other than if you don't like the noise, that might be a problem for you. Now let me get into the things that I don't like about it. There's not many. Really, there's only two. Uh, the biggest thing, and this reel actually had a problem with this, was the plastic arm on the bale on the line roller side. That's one of the few plastic parts, and it's an important one. Well, the stop for that is made into that arm to keep the bale from coming close too much. Uh, that stop had actually broke off. It was just a little plastic tab made into the arm. I was able to fix that by uh, drilling a hole and putting in a metal plastic screw. It's a self-tapping screw. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. And um, so I would consider that a permanent fix for it. The other thing I don't like about this reel is there are no bronze bushings for the drive gear. 
uh, a lot of the reels, uh, Daiwa used to make a lot of reels that were aluminum bodied reels and they would have an, a nylon bushing that was removable and you could replace that bushing with a bearing of the proper size. I really like those reels because I like to go in and change out the bushings for bearings. This one, the drive shaft for the main drive gear, it's supported strictly by the aluminum body. It's plenty thick. You shouldn't have a problem with it wearing out, especially on a light reel like this, but it's just something to be aware of if you're looking at one of these. I bought this reel just out of curiosity. I got it for a good price. I paid $12 for it shipped to my house um, from eBay, and <clears throat> I, I wanted to check the reel out. I wasn't familiar with it. It looked like the types of reels that I'm usually looking for. Um, Although I've got plenty, uh, I'm not. I'm not going to keep this one. I'm going to list it for sale, um, and I will put a link to that in the description. Um, but basically, what was wrong with this reel when I got it was that it was just dirty. The outside was dirty. The inside was dirty. It reeled in pretty rough because of all the grime and grit uh, that had collected inside of the reel. So it just basically needed a good cleaning. I clean all my reels in naphtha varnish thinner. Uh, you can get it in the paint section of most stores. It's basically the it's basically the same thing as Zippo lighter fluid. Uh, it it will it works good as a degreaser, and that's why I use it. I usually soak my gears and things in that, and then a scrubbing with a toothbrush uh, to remove all the big stuff and then I wash it in soapy water and rinse it and dry everything real good before reassembly um, and then I use uh, synthetic greases and oils I use super lube it's cheap I use their synthetic grease and their multi-purpose synthetic oil uh, they both got uh, PTFE in it uh, which is basically Teflon this reel also had another problem the clicker for the drag uh, that lets you know when lines coming off from the drag uh, the clicker spring was missing altogether it just wasn't there um, I was able to fabricate a spring for it it wasn't a big deal uh, as you can hear the drag works fine now um, those were the two biggest problems um, other than like I've already discussed um, the stop for the bail arm being broke off. Um, so uh, I did create a problem for myself. I lost the spring for the anti-reverse. I was able to fabricate one of those. I keep a pile of springs that, as you can see in the photo uh, slideshow that's going through here. Uh, so I've always got spring material handy to make new springs if I need them. My intent behind making this slideshow uh, video is to show people who own these reels how to get these apart, how to put them back together, um, give some tips on cleaning and lubrication. Um, on lubrication in high clearance areas where there's a lot of tolerances, uh, like in gears, I use grease. And in the areas where things are tighter, I use the oils. I, I like to use oil in bearings I clean the old grease out and put in oil. They spin more freely and really in a fishing reel, you don't actually need grease in your bearings. Uh, it just gums them up a little bit, slows them down. You can speed them up by using oils. Uh, I use a thicker oil than most people use, um, but it works fine for me and it's inexpensive and it's readily available. You can find the super lube oil and grease at most Walmarts. Uh, Amazon carries them. Like I say, they're inexpensive. They're very good. They, they're synthetic, so they don't break down as quickly uh, as, um, as normal greases and oils. Uh, and they seem to really hold up well on fishing reels. So that, with the cost of them, it just makes sense to me uh, to use the Super Lube products. I, I know a lot of people like a lot of other products, and that's fine. Use whatever you want. I'm just telling you my experiences and, and you can take it from there if you want to use something different.
that's fine too. Whatever works for you, stick with it. The reason I'm selling this particular reel is because I've got other ones I like better. I paid more for a lot of them. Uh, some of them I got for a similar price. I just like, I like what I like and there's, this is a perfectly fine reel. Um, it's just, I, there's some that I already have that I'm going to hang on to and this one I was just curious as to how it was made. Uh, my wife already says that I'm a real hoarder that I've got way too many reels so I can send this one on to the next person and it's ready to go and you'll get a lot of use out of it. Uh, it should last forever. Uh, about the only thing on the aluminum bodied reels that you might have trouble with is a uh, if you drop them, I've seen the feet and legs get broke on them from time to time. That's the biggest issue. Uh, but I've seen graphite, the plastic bodied reels that, you know, within 10 years or less, uh, sometimes they crack. Uh, they seem, some of them seem like they warp or something. Uh, I've rebuilt some of them that when I get them back together, they're not as smooth as they were when they were new. Um, most of the older aluminum bodied ones, you can get them as smooth or even smoother than they were when they were brand new. Uh, because on a lot of them, you can go in and change out the bushings for bearings and that will free up a little bit of, of uh, tightness in them. Um, they, they don't seem to warp or anything like that. The biggest problem would be just dropping them and breaking them. Uh, because cast aluminum can break, um, but you know if you're if you're fairly careful with them, they they should last forever. Just about uh, they can always be cleaned and relubricated, um, and be just as good as they were the day that you bought it. I really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you like what I'm doing with my channel, please subscribe to me. Um, like the videos if you like them. Give them a thumbs down if you don't. Um, any feedback you might have for me, I'd love to hear it in the comments section if you want to see me do things differently. Uh, eventually, I want to start doing video. Um, I'm just not really set up for it right now. And actually, on a real rebuild, it helps having a lot of pictures. You can pause it and do a print screen. Uh, if you're on a part where you want to zoom in on it, you could, you know, open it up as a picture and zoom in on it at that point. Uh, to me, pictures are good and helpful in a lot of ways, uh, but a lot of people like video too. So if you got any comments on the way that I'm putting my videos together so far, just let me know down in the comment section. There's always room for improving things and I understand that and, um, I know also the audio doesn't match up with the slideshow on this video and that might throw people off too. Just, you know, any comments you got, I'd like to hear them. Uh, if you got any reels that you like that you've discovered, older ones like this one uh, that you think I might be interested in, let me know that too. Um, I've got a lot of old Mitchell reels. Uh, Daiwa is probably my favorite. Uh, they were really making some good reels in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, and in the 80s they started making some really bad ones too so uh, as a lot of people did but thanks again for watching and I do have I'm getting close to 50 subscribers now so I'm excited about that I know that's not many uh, by a lot of people's standards but it just lets me know that some people out there are interested in similar things um, my channel is called the fishing hobby because to me, it's a hobby that goes beyond just catching fish. Uh, I like using older equipment. I like fab fiberglass rods, and a lot of people won't use them anymore. But that's why I call my channel The Fishing Hobby, because I like to make things. I like to tinker. I like to fish. Uh, catching fish is fun, uh, but that's not the whole thing. Spending time with your family, being out in the water. Uh, we kayak and fish a lot and see beautiful scenery. There's a lot more to it than just the actual fishing and uh, enjoy the journey while you're getting there. Uh, you, you know, life's short. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun with it. Uh, try some new things. Just 
there's a lot there's a lot to take from fishing other than just catching fish if you have any questions about anything specific uh, about this particular reel let me know i'll do my best to try to help you with it uh, in the meantime y'all have fun stay safe uh, and go fishing <laughs> thanks <laughs>